Welcome to Cooking Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to make better autofill than you can make with the DuckDuckGo and Snancer API. Because of a long stream of comments I got and responded to about combining the DuckDuckGo and Snancer API's autofill and instant answers, and that didn't actually work very well, and in the end, I said it would be best just to use a different API for autofill and that I would look for one and see if I can make a video on one. I found one, and you can combine this with the DuckDuckGo and Saint Answer API and it will work a lot better than using the DuckDuckGo and Saint Answer API for autofill. So, here, let me show you what you can do with it. Here in Firefox, I've got my input box, and if I just start typing, I immediately get a bunch of things. And if I start to type in Harry Potter, I get like a ton of stuff about Harry Potter. And like if I just type HA, Harry Potter appears here and you can click on it. Or you can click on another one in the options. So this works a lot better than the DuckDuckGo and Sinanser API would. So I searched for a while on how to find it, and I came across a tutorial somewhere on how to make a request to an obscure API made by Wikipedia that they use for their autofill. And so I used that tutorial to figure out how to make a request. I can put a link to that in the description. And then I figured out myself how to parse the data because it was just comma separated values. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. So to get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm using the triad editor from W3Schools because it's nice. I like it. So let's start with the JavaScript. But first, I have to do something. I need to copy a link that we're going to use and all right here we go so let's start with the JavaScript because you know that's that's the fun part and we're gonna need to have two functions one of them is going to be the callback function for the request we're gonna make because we're gonna make it the request in a weird way we're gonna tell the HTML that it's a script but it's not really. All right, so script, open a script tag, and let's make a function called add the autofill, open parentheses, data. It needs a thing called data. Perfect. Now, open that curly brace, and let's do, let's make a variable. Var, what should I call this variable? I'm going to call it raw data. Var raw data equals JSON with the capital JSONN dot stringify open parentheses data. All right. Next, let's make another variable. Var um, let's call it not raw data. Actually, no, let's, let's call it cooked, cooked data. Cooked data. It equals raw data dot replace and I'm just going to copy raw data to my clipboard so I don't have to type as much. I'm that lazy. Um, slash, backslash, um, squarish bracket, slash, slash g, comma, open quotes, close quotes, close parentheses, and semicolon. And what that will do is there will be one of one of these 
There's going to be one of these things right here at the beginning of the data. And I think there's two. And what we're doing is we're replacing them with just nothing um, by having a regular expression here. And then um, G for global, which means it'll get rid of all of them. All right. Let me delete that thing. Yeah. So now um, I'm going to copy cooked data. Now cooked data equals cooked data dot replace open parentheses slash backslash and then the other kind the closing squarish bracket see how this one's opening that one's closing slash g and what that will do is it'll get rid of this one because you know it also closes them at the end comma open quotes close quotes close parentheses semicolon and that gets rid of that yeah <laughs> now cooked data equals and then in quotes open an option tag option value equals and then open a different kind of quote see how right here at the beginning I have double quotes but here at the end I have a single quote and then close the double quotes but don't close the single quotes that's a that's a very very important thing um wait a minute oh actually no forget I said that no single quotes. Option value equals end quote. Semicolon. Right? Oh no. Plus cooked data. So that way we have, um, we're adding this to the beginning. Option value equals. Plus cooked data. Okay, semicolon. And now, you guessed it, cooked data equals cooked data dot replace um slash oh wait no open parentheses slash comma slash g what that will do is it'll get rid of all the commas because they're comma separated values comma and then in quotes uh one of those i don't know what they're called the is greater than sign and then open another option tag option um value equals and quotes so exactly the thing we did there except we're closing an old option tag there so zoom back out um and then close parentheses and semicolon all right we're getting closer to being done. Yep, there's only one more thing we need to do. Cooked data equals cooked data plus in quotes greater than sign. And that'll just close the very last thing that we have there because there's no comma there. Alright, great. Now there's only one more thing to do. Document dot get element by id i know my favorite command open quotes output close quotes and parentheses dot inner html equals cooked data semicolon and and that function that's that for that function there's only one more function we need to write and what this next function is going to do is it's going to make a request to the Wikipedia API and then it is going to run this function on the data so that we get our autofill. And right now would be a good time to copy a link that I'm going to put in the description and I'm going to do that right now. 
All right, copied the link and I'm back. So now, function, and I'm gonna call this function get answer, and then open parentheses Q. And that Q represents what the person's typing. So Q stands for query. So now, open curly braces, of course, and let's make a variable. Var fill data equals document dot create element the first e in element is capitalized open parentheses script and quotes yeah and quotes semicolon um fill data dot src equals in quotes, here's where you paste in the link, paste. And note that it says callback right here. It says callback equals add the autofill. What that means is that it's going to run this function up here once the script loads. I know, it's so smart. Plus Q after you end the quotes because it says here and search equals so that is where it's going to add what you typed in. Yeah. And now, one last thing. Document dot body dot append child with a capital C child open parentheses fill data. So that just adds fill data script, the, the data script into the HTML. And now close that curly brace and close the script tag. We're done with JavaScript. Well, mostly. There's there's a little other thing we gotta do. So now back up here at the top. And I'm gonna return a few times and go up here. We need to add an input tag. So, because that's where the user's gonna be typing, right? Input on key up equals in quotes get answer open parentheses document dot get element get element by id my favorite function open parentheses and then open a different kind of quotes um q Query box. Query box. I spelled query wrong. Query. And big quotes. Close parentheses. Dot value. So that gets what's inside this box. This box is going to have the ID of query box. And close quotes. And then you're going to need to copy this. So control C on Windows and Linux and command C on a Mac. And then control V or command V here and just change on key up to on key down that way it not only updates the results when you push a key down but also when you push the key up which is important otherwise screwy things happen and I don't know why ID equals in quotes query box same exact spelling is here so that the ID matches up and now one more thing list equals in quotes out put that's remember that is where we put the data all right now we just need to do one more thing data list id equals in quotes output and that's all you need to do just close that data list tag after you open it, and JavaScript will do the rest. Hit run, or save your file and open it in your browser, and let's start typing. H, A, P, P, Y. Nothing happens. A. So obviously, we did something wrong. Aha! I found the problem. You have to close these parentheses here that are inside the quotes. Um, 
Sorry, I forgot to close them, I, I know. Aha, I found another problem. I forgot to write function. Function. Big mistake there. How did that happen? All right. Yes, it works. All right, so now you can start typing H-A-R-R-Y and it works. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and buy my merch. Check it out. Look, I'm gonna go to my, my website. I'm gonna show you my merch. Look, you can just click on shop. I got all these shirts. I just came out with this Ofric Rules t-shirt because, come on, you remember you remember Ofric, right? Right? See, you can get it as a sweater too. And in lots of different colors. It's pretty great. So, remember, I forgot. I don't remember either.